first one she has said yes, usually says no. Starting off the day by taking this little puppy to get a haircut. It's gonna be okay. Come here. Where's your leash? Started off the day with a workout. I haven't been going to my workout class. I've just been working out at home, which has been nice, but I don't get quite as good of a workout. So what do we have planned today? Not that much. So I don't know what this vlog is gonna be, but I think we're gonna go to Target today. New Mighty Pup toys just came out for the new Mighty Pup movie for Cove's birthday. Lauren, my bestie girl, you have to come. Come on. I was gonna get her a present, but Cove wanted to just pick it out herself because there's like so many new options to get. And she already has like so many things. So we're just gonna take a fun little trip to Target, I think. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna do that today. I think I'm also maybe gonna do a QA. I'll probably do that when I get ready. Yeah, we also had a little birthday party party yesterday for Coco. You're gonna be so brave. She's so brave. She's well behaved. She is not afraid. Okay, I am now showered and ready. Well, not ready, actually about to get ready. So we're gonna do a little Q&A while I do my makeup. I have like literally 80,000 products in here. And I always like to dump the entire thing out and then put it back in as I go. Even though I do not use all of this at once, but let's see, where's my primer? I also just called and booked a nail appointment. I'm gonna get ready and then make lunch and then go get my nails done. I usually go like a full month in between getting them done and they're definitely like grown out, but dip always lasts so well for me. I'm gonna do a little bit of this Say Slip Tint, but I'm gonna mix it with my Glow Recipe Dew Drops just to thin it out a little. And then I will also get into the question. So the first one is what is something sweet Parker did for you recently? And the other night, it was just like a long day and <laughs> my body was just like sore and like worn out from um, literally just like life and like the new workout stuff I've been doing. He got me a massage table for my birthday uh, maybe last year or the year before. He set up a little massage for me. He had a sound machine going. The sound machines that we have, you can like, it has a light too. So it was like a dim light that you would have in like a spa. And then for the sound, he had like water rushing and then he had spa music playing on a speaker. And then I don't even know where he got essential oils because I did not think we had any, but he had like essential oils. So it was the whole spa experience in my home and i swear nine times out of ten that i go and get a massage like literally parker can do a better massage like he's so good at massaging but it was super sweet that he did that so i was very grateful I'm trying to figure out whose footprints are under there that's luma i just went and picked luma up from the groomer she was very happy to get out of there um okay next question favorite part about being a mom i don't know there's so many things that i love about being a mom but one of my favorite things is just seeing my kids like experience things and like learn new things. It's kind of like you just get to literally experience life again when you have kids. Okay, the next question is what is the best thing that you do for your mental health? And I feel like one of the best things that I do, well, I have a couple. One of them is having some type of like exercise routine, just getting out and moving and like being active at all. I feel like it's super important for my mental health. I feel like I don't really take a lot of breaks from like working out and it's not really even like the actual fitness part of it just the mental part of it obviously it's like good to physically move your body and everything but i love just like starting out my day like that did i do concealer i feel like i didn't do concealer i just did blush another thing is literally just having stuff on the calendar for myself to like look forward to obviously i spend a lot of time like with parker and the girls because i'm home all the time and i love that so much but also just having like other things to go and look forward to like girls dinner with friends or even like going to get my nails done or something like so many moms just like don't get to make that time for themselves obviously it's a lot harder if you're like a single parent or if you have a partner that like goes out and works 40 hours a week then it's definitely harder to like prioritize that but that's something that both parker and i are pretty good about like he'll go golfing he went golfing over the weekend i actually met some of his friends down in 
um, his friends from Southern Utah. They met like halfway. There's randomly a golf course. If you guys are from here, the Fillmore Golf Course, every time we drive past it, it's like halfway between here and Salt Lake. And he always like wants to stop at it. But like, why would we stop at it when we were like traveling home with our kids and stuff? So him and a bunch of his friends went and did that golf course. And so he had a lot of fun doing that. And my mom came down for that morning and we like went to the farmer's market and stuff. So I feel like just having like something to look forward to and just getting out and like having time with friends and stuff and just like feeling like a person it can be so easy to like just get in the habit of not doing those things and like not prioritizing that for yourself but that is something that is so important to both of us and i feel like it keeps us like a lot happier okay this person said she's watched me since she was 14 and she never asked questions <laughs> she asked what my favorite scent is i feel like i can't think of like what my favorite perfume type scent would be but i was gonna say one of my favorite like the first thing that came to my mind was literally just like the smell of my mom's cooking just like homemade food at your mom's house is like the best thing ever so i wanted to answer that question since she said she never asked questions and then this time she did so what yeah that was the first thing that i thought of is <laughs> my mom's cooking you want to come in hi yeah my makeup okay the next one says what is your favorite thing about having daughters i feel like i'm just like a girl's girl like i love having girls and i love being a girl mom i feel like yeah that's mine thank you sister you gonna open that? Can you come over here? I just feel like I have my little built-in besties. Have you been looking for houses in California? I have every day. Like I look all the time, just waiting for the perfect thing to pop up. I do think that before we ever actually bought anything i would want to go stay for like an extended period of time in like an airbnb or something and i know that i would love to be out there like basically indefinitely but obviously it's a very big decision to like move your family somewhere i would kind of want to just triple check and like really make sure and also the house that we typically rent is like right by the water and that's one of my favorite things so i've kind of been going back and forth on like would we rather be more inland and like have more space in a yard or would we rather literally be like right by the water but have something smaller which the house that we rent it's not like small it's three bedrooms but it is not that big and we love it it feels perfect it doesn't feel too small it doesn't feel overwhelming we spend a lot more time outside i don't know i feel like we don't know like exactly what we really are looking for but i do know that if the perfect thing came up i will okay i will open this for you can you come over okay. here sissy so instead do you miss having a larger workload has it changed the way that you spend i got a lot of questions of people still asking me like what am i doing for income now and like am i ever going to Come, come back basically from like taking a break. Lola, okay, I'll just blur her out, I guess, but so much more work. Where's your dad at? I'm still posting very frequently. I'm just not making myself post as much as I was before like i always pretty much most of the time we would have a vlog up every single week and i think we have vlogs arranged for the next like four weeks or so so i'm still posting like pretty often but just not like forcing myself to do a vlog every single week like i think i didn't have one up um not last week but the week before or something so we just like didn't have anything going on and it's just not enjoyable to me to like have to force content when i feel like i'm not doing anything that's exciting but i still am posting like pretty often i would say the only thing that i'm not I haven't posted an Instagram picture in a long time. That is something that I feel like I need to get back on, but there's just nothing to take pictures of here. And honestly, the iPhone like auto edit, I feel like literally just ruins all of my photos. I don't know. I'm a video girly at heart. It's actually my 14 year. Okay, Lola, this is going to be so hard for me to edit. So this Q&A is going to have some weird editing because if she's in the frame, I might just crop it in instead of blurring her out. Can I have that? Please don't put that in your mouth. Blurring stuff takes a really long time. But anyways, my 14 year YouTube anniversary is this month. So that is literally, no, 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 no. That is literally insane. But yeah, I'm definitely more of like a video girly versus a picture girly. So I haven't posted a lot of like Instagram feed pictures, but I post pretty often on TikTok. I don't post a ton on my Instagram story. I feel like that is something that I intentionally, like I used to just try and have something on my story every day. And I feel like that's just a lot. Like I just don't need to be doing that. So I'll kind of like save up my photos and then post like every few days or something. Or sometimes I'm not paying attention and it ends up being that I haven't posted on my story in like a week. I don't know. I'm still posting pretty often and I'm still doing brand deals and stuff. I'm definitely turning down things, which I've always turned down, turned down things that I didn't want to do. A lot of people have asked about income like since I closed my clothing store, but I've mentioned before that that's not something that I made income from. Uh, we always just reinvested anything that I would have been paid back into the business because I was making income from other places. 
Okay, one of the questions says, was it hard to leave Cove when you went to the hospital to have Lola? And it wasn't that hard because I didn't think that I was actually in labor. Like I thought that it was definitely, we were gonna get sent home. So yeah, I feel like it wasn't that hard, but maybe it would have been harder if I knew for sure that it was like my last time seeing her before like we had another baby. Let's just turn the camera this way and mommy will scoot over here. Are you thinking about baby number three? I am thinking about it but we shall see because I do already have two crazy ones. Do you think mommy should have a baby? Yes. Yeah? Do you think it should be a baby sister or a baby brother? Baby brother. Baby brother? Oh my goodness. Do you even know what a brother is? One of the questions was also, will you film your next pregnancy? And if I do have another baby, I definitely will film my pregnancy. I feel like I feel comfortable sharing that. I don't know. I do feel like sharing a baby is different than sharing like a kid that's growing up. I wouldn't share a lot of like another baby's face, but I would still share like my night routine with a newborn or like something like that. Uh -huh. Like I really enjoy watching that content. Obviously it's relatable to like a lot of moms and I feel like maybe I would change my mind, like who knows, but I feel like I'll kind of just like cross that bridge if and when I ever get there. But I do feel like I could share things and still feel comfortable and still feel like I would be giving more privacy to my baby. Hey, hey, hey. You're silly and it would be kind of like <laughs> different. But yeah, if anybody has three kids, tell me how it is because that was one of the top questions on here. And now that Lola's a little bit bigger, we will have to see. Okay, next question. Do you miss living in Southern Utah? Not at all, 0%. We are going there this weekend, I think. So I do like to go visit and I am really grateful that we have our house there because honestly, if we didn't have our house there, I feel like we would literally never go back. I don't really enjoy staying with family very much just because it's stressful to me to have like two kids and a dog and not have my own space. And like if my kids are being loud or if they woke up early or like my dog's barking or something, I just get a lot more stressed out if we're in someone's house. So I'm super grateful that we have our house there, but I do not see myself ever, 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 ever moving back. Okay, last question. Would you ever start a podcast? I'd totally listen. I forgot if I already talked about this or not, but I feel like that's something I would love to do with my sister. If anyone has any ideas for that, <laughs> let me know like what we should name it or what we should talk about. I feel like it would just be like two girls talking, like two sisters hanging out. It wouldn't be anything like too niche, but um, we have talked about that like for years now and now she lives in LA, so it would be like a lot harder, but if we ever move to California, I feel like that's something that could be in the cards. Um, I don't really have a lot of like other projects in mind. I'm kind of just enjoying having a little bit less on my plate and being able to be more like present physically and present mentally with my kids. Yeah, I'm not looking for any new projects at this moment, but I do feel like it would be a really fun one day to start a podcast with my sister. <laughs> fastest, easiest lunch that I have ever made. I actually already had this this week, but Parker made it. So it was even faster because he already pre-cut everything up. So I could just put it together, but it's a seven layer dip avocado toast from HelloFresh. This is one of their 10 minute lunches, which is perfect. I was actually gonna make this black bean soup. Oh, HelloFresh is sponsoring this video, if I did not just say that. I was gonna make this black bean soup for lunch. And then I was like, wait a minute, we literally have more of those toasts. So I'm gonna make that instead because I have to go soon to get my nails done. Parents have enough with like back to school planning and shopping and everything. So so HelloFresh can make it easier for you by making it so you don't have to meal plan and go and get all the groceries for all your dinners. The meals are pre-portioned, delivered right to your door. We typically get the box for four people. Obviously there's four of us, but the girls don't eat a ton. So we like to get the four person serving and then we'll typically have leftovers for the next day, which is nice too. Or we got the four person serving of this lunch and then we just like split it up over two days. So all you need is like 15 minutes to have a tasty and satisfying meal. It is made in your own kitchen. So they have their quick and easy options. If you want something fast. They also have lots of different options like vegetarian. They also have vegan options now, which I'm super excited about. I want to try those. And then they also just came out with quick breakfast and lunch too. So we have tried the lunch, but I have not tried the breakfast yet. And I definitely want to try that. I feel like they've expanded so much and have like so many different options now. And they have so much variety too. They have 40 different recipes you can choose from every week. So they have family friendly, fit and wholesome. So there's always something that is new and exciting to try. So we do have our code for you guys. I'm gonna have it in the description box too and on the screen.
screen, but you can go to HelloFresh.com and use our code 50 Aspen and Parker at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. So definitely use that code if you have ever wanted to try HelloFresh. We have friends like text us all the time asking about like what our HelloFresh code is. So definitely use it because 50% off is a great deal. But again, that's gonna be linked down below. What time is it right now? It's 12.28. I need to leave it like 12.50 to go get my nails done. I'm gonna eat this. And I'm also having it with an Olipop. I mean, for dinner, I'll probably have black bean soup too because it's super good. Or did I show the other one that we have? This is the other recipe that we have. It's like a ravioli. But I also have three packages to open before I go. I've been putting off opening these until I was filming. This one actually just came in, but these other two, I've been waiting to open so that I could show you guys a little unboxing. So this first one is from Merit. Ooh, they sent me their cute bag. This is their flush balm, another flush balm. I love Merit products. I love their bronzer and their highlighter. This is another one of their bronzers, another one of their highlighters. Ooh, instant glow skin serum. I don't know if I've actually seen this. Oh wait, maybe I have, but I haven't tried it. Lengthening tubing mascara. I love tubing mascara. This is a volumizing pomade for brows. I feel like I always keep my makeup like pretty simple, but I love trying new stuff out. And I also have a package from Ilia. I try and rip this with my nails. I'm scared to break one. Eye Stylus Shadow Stick. Maybe I'll keep one of the brown ones. I get sent like a lot of makeup. So I feel like I end up giving a lot of it away. But maybe I'll keep one of these brown ones. They also sent me their mascara. Okay, and then this package I've been excited for. This is from Zara. I didn't really need to open this yet, but I got a couple things for Lola's birthday, which is not for like a month. Okay, so she has been loving bluey and Zara just came out with some bluey pieces. So I got her this cute little sweatshirt. I'm trying to decide what size because I usually size up in sweatshirts, but I got her actual size. So hopefully this still fits kind of like cute and oversized on her, but bluey and bingo. I also got her this cute little bluey t-shirt. I think I sized up in this one because I wanted it to be bigger. Yeah, I got her a 3-4 in this size or in this shirt. And then she needed some tennis shoes. I feel like her feet are a little bit small still for like regular size shoes, but this is the smallest size that they had. So I just got these little plain tennis shoes for her. I need to figure out what kind of birthday party I'm gonna do for her. Cause had Paw Patrol, obviously. She wanted My Little Pony for a long time and then like last minute she changed it to Paw Patrol. But Lola loves Bluey and she loves Frozen and she's starting to like Hello Kitty. So I'm probably gonna do one of those party things for her. I'll have to ask her what she wants. Anyways, I'm also trying to decide what to get on my nails. I haven't gone to my regular nail girl in a while. Either she was like booked out or I went on a day that she like didn't work or whatever. I always kind of play it a little bit more safe if I go to like a different person. Not that I ever do anything crazy at all, but even like a French tip, my girl is just so good at doing everything. So I have pink on and I think that I want to get French tip again. <laughs> Next day, we're getting out of the house for a little break because I just spent probably three hours editing this vlog. I was just sitting on my bed on the computer, but somehow editing just like takes it out of you. Like my eyes, I just feel like, well, I did text my editor. I used to use an editor. And then since our schedule has been like a little bit more inconsistent, I haven't had anybody editing for me for quite a while, but I came out to get a little treat. I'm at Nectar Juice Bar. I thought that they had a drive through but it's actually just a like online pickup thing so i'm gonna do an online pickup and i will just wait for it got my bowl i accidentally clicked whey protein instead of the vegan protein option wait a minute why is it this color i've also never added protein to an acai bowl before i wouldn't think that it would change the color i literally got like a regular acai bowl Okay, protein was probably not the move to make. Maybe if you were getting like chocolate peanut butter bowl or something, but I feel like this doesn't taste like acai. Nectar reminds me of when me and Parker were like kind of newly married-ish, like the first couple years after we got married. Like we would have to go to LA for a lot of stuff and we would always stay in Santa Monica right by the water, like right by the Santa Monica Pier. And there's a Nectar juice bar over there. And so we would go there all the time. So it always reminds me of just like that time period in our life, which it feels so weird that that actually happened. Like I feel like that was just a completely different lifetime ago. Okay, I do not know what flavor this is. It's still good, but it Okay, we have to switch to the phone because the camera died. I'm still kind of figuring out this new camera. I feel like the battery dies like a little bit fast, but I did film a lot yesterday, so maybe the battery 
like should be dead I feel like i'm in a bad mood i don't even know why i think i just feel kind of sad after like editing this vlog and obviously lola was in it for a little bit and i'm like not showing my kids anymore but i wasn't gonna kick her out like she just wanted to hang out with me so i just blurred her out which took me a lot longer to edit i just miss like having the girls in the vlogs like i miss it a lot and i haven't like second guessed my decision to not post them anymore and again obviously she's in this video a little bit but mostly i just don't want like pictures of their face and like updates about them and things like that like i just want them to have privacy i don't really want to post stuff like that anymore i'm fine with her like either of them coming in the room and i like can blur them out and whatever but it just like gave so much life to the vlogs and obviously i love them more than like anybody else does so i love to like watch my own vlogs of them so much and i was watching a couple old vlogs a few days ago i was cooking something and cove was helping me or just like unboxing stuff and she was there like doing it with me so i feel like i kind of just feel sad that i don't do that anymore but i do feel very confident in the decision to not be posting like new content of them in the way that i had in the past so i'm not changing anything but it's just a lot harder to get vlogs like by myself and yes parker could be in them too obviously but like i've said he's usually with the girls like we don't have a nanny or help right now so if i'm filming and i'm doing something then he is with them so he's with them right now and then i have to come out and i'm like filming but then i'm just always by myself and i feel like i'm realizing lately how i just literally have no friends i don't know like i do have friends but i don't know it's kind of hard when i feel like being like a content creator kind of is like a lifestyle and like filming everything that you're doing the average joe like does not do that so as much as my friends would not care at all if i was like filming things that we're doing and i do film things that i'm doing with my friends sometimes i have been very much missing jc because it's just like so fun to hang out with her and like it's just nice when you're with those content creator friends and you're creating content because they're more likely to be like in the content with you or like talking or something like the vlogs have just been kind of me by myself for the most part i like to be by myself but i don't know and i feel like there's not really a good solution to this problem because most of the friends that i hang out with are not content creators and they would totally be more than happy to like be in my video and like talking to me but i don't that's not like a natural thing for me to do like sometimes i film with lauren but that's i feel like more rare i also have free seasonal depression thinking about winter coming like i'm not even kidding summer in utah is super nice so we haven't um taken like a lot of trips this summer everyone's talking about fall and after fall comes winter and i do not know how i'm gonna do another winter last year we spent january in newport so i kind of want to do that again but i need to see if the house is available like i said i have been looking at houses in california but the perfect thing has not come up and i don't know exactly where we'd want to be or exactly what we want also the splash pad is going to be closing soon i think it closes after labor day and that's like one of my favorite activities to go do with the girls because it's just super easy and free and getting outside is so good so i feel like i already have just so much like anxiety about summer ending <laughs> like it's so dramatic but i'm not even kidding i cannot do another winter here like going outside and it's cold and snowy it's so depressing i still have a little bit for them but i don't know i'm gonna have to figure out a plan or something i really miss california hopefully we're gonna go back in a couple of weeks like i want a jimmy john so i'm gonna stop and get that for him on the way home and then it's only 2 p.m oh my gosh today has felt so long i think because i just sat on the computer all day but i think maybe we'll go to the splash pad this afternoon too <laughs> protein powder i love kos we got vanilla and chocolate peanut butter i like this one better but for some reason i did not get the big size of this i don't know why and i also got some more of this looks unfiltered body exfoliator Ooh. also ordered one of these this is like a choking device thing it's been on my to-do list for a while to order this and this is like just something to use if someone's choking it's a fear of mine then this is for Yoya for her birthday. I got her yeah. this little busy book. Cove has one and Lola loves to use it. So this actually says for ages three and up, but Lola does pretty good using Cove's. So I got her her own and you can use this too, but we have to just wait for Lola's birthday, okay? Okay, and then I'm not gonna show all of this stuff because this is my order from Princess Polly. I'm filming a TikTok for them later this week. I branched out and got a couple different things. These are not like unique at all. They're literally just black boots, but I have like no cute shoes really. Well, I have a couple, but they're like, I wanted some different ones. This is more clothes for mama. The clothes for the fall. Oh. It's gonna be fall soon, so it's gonna get oh. cold. Comfy sweater, cute shorts. Yeah. 
I got another white tank top. Cannot have too many white tank tops. So much stuff in here. We got some fall goodies. Even though we want it to be summer forever, huh? Do you think this is a cute sweater for mom? Yeah. You do? Thanks. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. What else should I say? Mm. You don't know? Do you know who I'm talking to? No. Don't forget to check out HelloFresh. They're gonna be in the description and I'll have our code right here for you guys. 50 Aspen and Parker for 50% off plus free shipping. That is it for this vlog. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.